no, 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 no. Let me explain something to you very simply. You redefine the whole structure of creation and the way we work. When you have, you, if you listen to other lectures I've given and the talks I've given, is that life starts with magnetic field. I go back to what you said about um, you don't need to be a nuclear physicist, you don't need to be an engineer in any sort. It's just to understand that the, the structure of the universe starts with magnetic field. When magnetic fields interact in certain packages in certain ways, we call it the plasma. And when the plasma is, when the plasma is created, uh, when the plasma is created, then you have the beginning of physics. Yo, we can still hear you, Joe. Constructing. Joe, um, Joe, there's a, yeah. a microphone icon on your Skype, and if you click on that, it will mute the microphone so we don't get the feedback through. Uh, let, let me switch off. Uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah, just mute your, mute your microphone. Yeah, all right then. Okay. We hear everything which is going on in the factory. Yeah, Manuel, hi, Professor Ranjawi. I think I'll switch off. Joe is very beautiful man. I stayed with him for a couple of days, so I know he is very. Uh, he has a golden heart. And do we have to um, Joe in my life? No, he doesn't understand about the Skype, and he needs to know about the mute function. I suppose is what's happening there. Well, he said he's old guy and not much familiar with computers. So. Yeah, it's a bit to get him to to get on the Skype. Okay. So we okay. go back to this pub. We hope he, he doesn't speak Maltese for a little bit. Um, so when you have the magnetic fields, they interact. You create plasma. The plasma is, is the beginning of physics. And when the plasmas interact, you get atoms. And these two packages, these packages of atom on their own, when they interact to the chemistry, and when you go over a certain number of plasmas interacting in those packages, you get biology. And then you add another dimension of plasmas to it, which is non, which is a non tangible. Then you get the soul and the rest of the creation, which man does not understand at this moment. So, when you have <coughs> magnetic fields, you start the work of interactions and the creation. The rest is the names which humanity has tried to put things in pigeonholes. We call it physics, chemistry, biology, plasma, and the rest of it. But you start with the fields, magnetic fields, their interaction of according of the same string and the same directional motion leads to creation of plasma. That plasma interaction of plasmas leads to what we call atoms or beginning of physics, we call it as a plasma as a physics, but Physics starts as a magnetic field. And when you get the packages, like what we call atoms in different sizes and shapes, interacting, we call it chemistry, because then we understand interaction, we call it molecules. Because as long as they're atomic, they're part of physics. When they become uh, multi-interaction, they become part of chemistry. And then there is a point where these plasmas or packages of plasmas, what we call molecules, are affected by a holding plasma condition. Then you enter what is known as biology. It's usually four plus. But the four plus gives you chemical bind. But if you put the four plus in the given environment, 
then you have biology, you have creation. And then if you put this creation, which is automatically happens because of the structure is created, it brings in an additional part, what we call the soul. And that's where the beginning of what as humanity we don't understand. And this is what we open up in the future in the books which are to be published and partly written. So you don't need to be a nuclear physicist, you don't need to be a computer specialist. You have to understand the working and the interaction of magnetic fields. There is an old say, they say doves fly with doves and the dogs go with dogs. It's the same thing with magnetic fields, different strength, different direction, interact and create different packages. So uh, if you are not physicist, if you haven't done any degree in mechanical, it doesn't make any difference. If you understand the concept, the base, the principle, you can do anything you like, then you create your own packages. Again, it goes back to physics or what we call individual packages, atoms. These each have and are part of the same structure. The more you have, you call it a different material. When you have a single hydrogen plasma, that single hydrogen plasma inside it has a plasma of a proton and electron. You put so many of these together, hydrogens, you call it gold. But it doesn't change the, 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 the reality that is so many packages of that, what we call a single atom. They try to call it fusion. Fusion does not happen the way we've been forced to understand. It's very much like uh, Stephen Hawking saying about the black hole and changing his mind because he never understood the reality of what the black holes are, that the black holes are the source of the creation, not the big eating machine. And he had to give a shirt after he read my papers. The right, but reality... uh, supposingly that you would like to create, let's say, an aluminum atom or gold, you will know or will have to know the assembly that you are calling gravitational magnetic field somehow no, to no, compute no, no, it or to determine. Yes, in a way, yes. Um, I, have you ever done any cooking? <laughs> if you don't, right. you are a perfect nuclear physicist. <laughs> Well, there's the by the book it method. Is, it is isn't there, two, isn't there two methods to uh, cooking? One is the by the book method and measuring everything exactly, and the other is by the more the seat of the pants method, where you use sort of your intuition and direct feedback to make. Yeah, but you become an expert with the seat of the pants to know how much water you got to put in it before it, as a, a solid becomes a soup, huh? Right. So it's the same process. We learn, <laughs> we, we learn very, very, very easily how much of magnetic fields we need in a condition to create gold. So you create or you absorb that much field. And when you create the condition for it, it becomes gold. This is how you will produce material in deep space. You don't go and look for atoms to fuse. Fusion never happens in the center of the stars. It's in the book which, which is coming up. We're trying to get it published in the book number four. This right, but theory speaking about a of practical fusion, device, that practically means... Practically, device is the same. It's the same. You no, I'm saying one condition. will take a device that is generating uh, radio frequency or magnetic field, let's say cell phones, I don't know, solenoids or whatever, and. They have to somehow correlate these fields, if I'm understanding correctly. Yes, but you become an expert, and we, we this is what we are doing, the tests, in how much hydrogen or how much plasma of an atom we need to put in a reactor in a certain way to, let's say, make um, nitrogen or make oxygen. And well, and this, yeah, a numerical quantity, or is, is that something you do in the moment to give the, just the right amount, let's say, to make it work? You see, what happened? I'll give you an example. 
this is a problem with me and this is a biggest problem with my work and I'm quite aware of it. Uh, and this has caused more problem than answering questions. I do not work with measurements. I work with conditions. I understand conditions. I have never sat down and said, OK, if you put so much, so much this, you get so much of that. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, in, in, um, in one of our experience, experiments, I knew how fast I can make protein out of fresh air. And when I asked for the equipment and I was given the, the equipment which I asked for, I created enough protein out of fresh air because I knew how to create the condition. It created a lot of damage to our system. It created havoc with our auxiliary system because the fat went through where it was supposed to be clean environment. Uh, our guys were finding um, protein, fat like grease on the blades of the vacuum system, turbo molecular system, they went crazy. Where are all these fat coming from? We, or the mistake I made was I did not put a filter to absorb any fats. And when we, when we switched the system on for, what do you call it, uh, for the work, um, the vacuum got sucked in. But if you think of it, it's very simple. Uh, in the in the air we breathe, there is a large percent of nitrogen, there is a carbon, there is a hydrogen, and there is oxygen. If you create the right environment, you create protein, which is uh, amino acid. And that's how easy it is. Um, so we did the same. I could tell you where I created the condition on what a screw in the we, we built a special screw system in the in the reactor where we could create condition for matters to become like gold the, the material is with me I, i've spoken about this before um i i have the i have the whole thing with the in a if you speak with dirk dirk will tell you rick he's seen it i've shown it to him uh so we create material out of creating conditions. This this is the problem. This is uh, this is the biggest problem with me. I don't measure things. I create conditions for things to happen. And this is one of the problems that repeating conditions becomes difficult. You lot work on so many atoms of this and so many atoms of that. I create conditions to reach what I need because I understand the process. It hasn't been easy. It's been a lot of heartache. It's a lot of problems, but um, this this has been part of the growth and learning curve for me. Uh, and my belief has been when the God created the earth, he didn't have a measuring scale. Oh, I put so much oxygen and so much hydrogen and I put so much silica and I put so much this earth is created. Earth is created out of the condition and the position which has been in this environment of the plasma of the solar system. You mean so there's no you want books, to... there was no cookbook for Earth with all the rest no. of the exact uh, amounts? It's just a condition has been created that 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 condition is in a different way allows let's say for Saturn to absorb helium in the in the in the outer boundaries of the of the uh, what do you call it, the solar system. This is what people don't understand. This is what is written in the new book coming out. Why do you have helium and gases in the outer boundary? It's very simple. The radiation, gravitational magnetic field radiation which comes out of the sun at a near to it are very strong. So as they diffuse, they create matter. As they go further to the boundaries of the plasma of the solar system, these energies are less. So when they convert, they only can become like light gases. It's not coincidental that you have helium and gases on the boundaries of the solar system. It's just that the fields left the sun have lost most of their stronger fields behind, and they became matters which get absorbed by the 
systems like Earth, which have a heavy absorption of gravitational magnetic field. What field reaches to the back end of, or the far end of this plasma of the solar system is mainly of the lighter strength, which is when they convert, they become gases. The heavier ones are gold and the other things which are at the front or nitrogen at the front where we absorb. 